Today is March 22nd, and Pastor is saying to us, He helps our limitation. Our scripture verse is taken from Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Reading, Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for, as we ought to, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be opted. The first part of our team verse says, Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Observe that Paul didn't say we don't know at all what to pray for. Rather, he said, we don't know as we ought to know. We don't know as we ought to know. So this weakness is that of a limitation of knowledge. But the Holy Spirit helps us out with it. It is part of his ministry in our lives that we are to recognize and take advantage of. If you are ever confronted with situations you don't have enough details or information about, don't despair. Trust the Holy Spirit. The Word says, The Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. In other words, the Holy Spirit stands in the gap and intercedes for you. He takes charge in your behalf, carrying out His intercessory ministry to you. This is so important because the Holy Spirit doesn't pray on His own. He needs your vocal faculties. For example, the Bible says in Acts 13 verse 2 that as the apostles were praying and fasting, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas, and Saul, for the work whereof unto I have called them. The instruction from the Lord that Barnabas and Saul, who later became Paul, should be consecrated to the work of the ministry, came as a prophetic word, spoken through one of those who were praying and fasting. Someone received the word and gave it forth, Yet it was reported that the Holy Ghost said, This is the ministry of the Holy Spirit in you. He will help you pray right and effectively and speak forth God's word through you. The prayer for today. Dear Father, thank you for the intercessory ministry of the Holy Spirit through me. I take advantage of the impartation of the knowledge of your will concerning issues of importance. He helps me pray effectively, bringing your perfect will to pass in my life and in all my endeavors in Jesus' name. Amen. For further studies, please read John 14, verse 16, Amplified Classic Version, Romans chapter 8, verse 26, Amplified Classic Version, for the one year Bible ready plan, please read Luke chapter 4, verse 14 through 44, and Deuteronomy chapter 22 through 24. And for the two year Bible ready plan, please read Romans chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, and Psalms 90, Rhapsody of Realities, Wealth Hearing.